Okay, in the meantime, let's go back to this uh, story about the economy and about the election in Egypt. We can speak now to Iman Bibaz, who's the uh, chair of the Association for the Development and Enhancement of Women. She joins us now live from Cairo. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. You work uh, very closely with the poorest on the, of the poor in Egypt. Uh, what sense are you getting from them which way they're going to vote? Um, well, thank you for having me. Um, I think a couple of things. I think one of the most important things is that the, the first round was surprising to a lot of people, especially the upper middle class and upper class people and a lot of the revolutionaries, because people do not know what's happening on the streets. What is going to happen now, I don't think anybody knows. But what I can tell you is that there is a lot of discontent with how the parliament has been working, with how the Muslim Brothers has been working. So if, you know, um, a lot of people who voted, for example, for the Salafis have voted for their neighbors. So if you've looked at the profile of the Salafi uh, parliamentarians, you will find that a lot of them were uh, working class, lower middle income groups. And so a lot of people were voting for their neighbors, but then they found that their neighbors were not really helping them, were not really trying to change anything. People were expecting a change in the economy. Uh, you were just talking about the unemployment rates. Uh, the people have a feeling that it's much higher than what you've been saying now. Uh, people have been looking for some safety and security in the streets. Um, and I'm talking about the majority of the poor people, not only in urban Cairo or the greater Cairo, but I'm talking about the rural areas in the upper class, upper Egypt. So is people there a sense, is there a sense that people, people will vote more for the person who's going to provide a, a smoother transition? Uh, you know, many would say that if uh, Morsi is elected, the transition will not be smooth, that if Shafiq is, perhaps it will be. Is there a feeling that perhaps Shafiq will provide a, a smoother way forward and things might settle down more? The smoother transition will come more with the bigger, better classes. I think what the people are, the, the, the population in the streets are discontent and a little bit disillusioned with the Muslim Brotherhood in the sense that they expected them to do a different thing. They expected them to be more religious or, or at least to, to, to answer their questions. But what the Muslim Brotherhood have been doing in the parliament was not that. They have been really reacting or, or acting in a different way than expected. So a lot of the people in the streets are discontent with the Muslim Brotherhood. So it's not that they think Shafi is better, but they think that the Muslim Brotherhood has failed them, which I think are two different things. All right, uh, Imin Babers, we appreciate that. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, it's going to be an interesting day, as we've been saying, in Egypt.